Okay, this is for how the stone knot for the fiddle stick can introduce twists in the rope. Uh, this pipe over here is going to be the anchor for a moment. Move this to the side. Um, so, normally with a knot, you want to dress the knot, make it all pretty and everything, so you avoid twisting, it holds better, it just is visually and easy to inspect, etc. So, repel rope on the left, pull side, uh, the short tail left after you're done tying it on the right. So if you uh, tie a stone the way it's uh, normally tied up position, and you dress everything nice and neat, there you go. So again, repel rope on the left, short tail on the right, everything's untwisted, everything's untwisted. Inside the knot, you can see there's no, no twists going on in the knot. Everything looks nice and smooth. And what happens, that's why the stone knot's kind of counterintuitive in that way. You think everything's going to be nice and smooth and have no twists. You pull the fiddle stick out on your pull cord, and when you undo the stone knot, you pull it from the bottom of the rappel, you have a full twist in the rope. You've got a, the tail is 360 degrees around the rope. Under most cases, probably not much of an issue. It's still going to pull pretty easily. There are times when that one twist can make things very difficult to pull and sometimes possibly lock the rope up. Um, so when you tie the stone knot, the easiest way I've found to be sure that it's not going to twist, all the twists need that happen while you're tying the knot need to be maintained in the knot. So the knot will be visually difficult to inspect. So trying to tie it a specific way and look at it is rather difficult. You could have the twist going in the wrong direction, you could have too many, not enough. Easiest way I've found is to take the Left hand, in, in this case, you can use whatever you want, but take one hand and hold the tail and the rappel rope in an untwisted fashion the way you want it. While you're holding that, don't allow it to rotate at all. Take the other hand and tie the stone knot with it. So go ahead and pull it. Let me give myself a little more tail here. A little more length to tie with. Go ahead and then make sure that these aren't rotating. Tie the knot with the other hand. Stick the fiddle in it. And as you're tying it, you want to be sure that you kept maintained this. Everything's untwisted here, untwisted there. If you'll note now, all the twists that you created while tying it are inside the knot. Notice there's some twisties going on there. There are chances for that twist to migrate outside of the knot, down here between the knot and your hand while you're tying it. Just be sure those get pushed up inside the knot when you do that. So everything looks good. If you'll notice, the knot now is visually more difficult to inspect. You've got a twist going on here, continues around here. These just kind of overlap a little bit. If you migrate those twists around to try to make it visually easy to look at, you'll find it's not really an easy task. So tying the knot in this way keeps things where you want it. Everything's nice and secure. When you pull the fiddle stick out in this case, and then you release the stone knot, you will have no twists. Everything comes out completely untwisted. So that is the best way that I've found to tie it is, again, just hold that with one hand, take the other hand, tie the stone, and just allow the rope to twist any way it wants to twist while you maintain these in one position and let those stay in the other position. When you untie it, it'll be tangle-free. Uh, one of the situations that can make this a little bit worse if you're not paying attention or more difficult to achieve is if you're tying on an anchor such as webbing or something that can rotate. And if you'll notice, when you go to uh, tie that, watch that webbing at the top, it will rotate. See how that did the rotating? So you'll think that you tied everything perfect, which you are. Just like you wanted it, you held everything perfect, but while you were tying it, this was allowed to rotate. So when you pull the fiddle stick, you'll have that twist, and it's not the twist that you happened inside the knot, it's because your webbing was allowed to rotate. So keep an eye on that when you're doing it on the, uh, anchors that can rotate on you. Tie your knot, and just pay careful attention to hold things so that that doesn't rotate at the top. Makes things a little more difficult. Uh, again, in most cases, this won't really be too big of an issue. But it's nice to know just in case they are an issue or a concern. If you get in the habit of tying it that way, then you usually won't have to worry about it or try to figure out when you need to tie it with no twists and when you don't. 
and it'll just be habit, and you'll have, always have it untwisted. Thank <laughs> you.